we got some rain last night so we are pumping out the little grooves using this little drill pump we're gonna suck all that water out I went to bed early last night and then got up this morning with a headache and then immediately went out and started doing some work out on the deck and then came in and started editing pictures down in the lower lounge and didn't really think about the fact that I hadn't taken any anti-nausea medication, which I have been doing on this trip pretty religiously every four hours. And after just a little while down there, trying to edit pictures with my head down in the screen, there was, that was just not a good idea. So I ended up coming up here to the middle deck where I can see the horizon because the, uh, the wind has turned out of the north and we're driving back to the west so all of the big waves that are coming are all instead of making the ship pitch fore and aft which is pretty handleable now all the big waves are making the ship roll back and forth which is very uncomfortable so I am hoping right now that if I can just keep on drinking water and watch the horizon I'm gonna feel a little bit better but right now I'm feeling kind of queasy Here's the ocean looking off to the north. You can see all the waves are coming from that direction. If you look back to the back of the ship, we've got the re-entry vehicle strapped down in its stand. Because we're rolling so much, we're starting to get waves that are washing across the deck. Some of them are even enough to soak the bottom of the re-entry vehicle. Out here on this pitching deck, starting to break down all of the extra equipment that we didn't need and everything that we're done with. So we're letting all the air out of the floats and packing them away. And uh, Jeff's inside breaking down the sonar uh, pinger that we did not end up needing. There's some water. Captain's back here doing uh, chart work. Comes back every once in a while and rechecks our course and I think probably plugs in coordinates up into the front GPS. Whoa. We are feeling it today. It is really rocking out here. We just had one tilt down where a wave came up and over the side. Woo! So we're rolling around enough now that they're discussing how we might cover over the RV with tarps or protect it so that none of these waves can get up there and just damage or destroy the uh, thermal protection blanket before we're able to get it back to shore and uh, do a thorough examination. process of trying to use this net and plastic to slide under the RV to protect the aeroshell from these waves. Okay, well we just finished lashing this net on here on the one side and we uh, got it nice and tight and hopefully that will protect the slit in the bottom of the TPS from filling up with water. Everybody's soaked. Now the RV is now secure and protected. I gotta say it was pretty awesome putting that underneath there. It's nothing like putting your mind to doing some work to keep yourself from being sick. It was great. <laughs> 